Those policies have him back in uniform tonight. And the opening tip belongs to the Wolfpack in the home white. Oh, as they've been in Tony Bennett's tenure, now in his 12th year, a team that does not shoot a lot of free throws. They shot just four in their loss against Virginia Tech. Off the top of the key with the shot make, the drive, and the finish. NC State in the man-to-man. -man. They're going to do an awful lot of switching here. Here's a mismatch down on the inside. Let's see if Bowser can take advantage. This is Kihei Clark for three, and Virginia has the lead. They play the fourth slowest pace in the country. A staple under Tony Bennett. Beverly with the drop-off, and Bates was right there. It's four minutes gone, even at five. Clark turns it over. It's Sebron ahead of the pack, and he puts it through. Where he did not have an assist in 34 minutes in that loss against Virginia Tech. He's put up a surprising result tonight in Pittsburgh. With that 6'8 frame of his, he can get close and jump up over top a smaller defender. And always dangerous shooting 42% from three. Beverly gets into the lane, gets the bucket, and the whistle as well. This team is 11 and 3 and 7 and 1 in the ACC, still sitting atop the standings. Virginia Tech chasing them, but they lost against Pitt tonight. Hauser with the reverse lay in, Virginia up by a pick. So it's number 14, Virginia, which has won 12 of 13 in the regular season against NC State, dominant as of late. And you go back to the end of last year, five out of six won that for a majority of that evening in Central New York. Looked like it would be a Wolfpack win. He had 24 and 10, a new career high. And Virginia quick to respond. When you've got as many guys who shoot as well as they do from three, Hauser, Huff, Murphy, and even Wolda Tensai, whose playing time has dropped a bit as of late. The need to drive is not as strong. Well, Almost tipped the out shot of clock here. They got to get in the shot now. And what a shot from Hauser. And after joining us late, DJ Funderburk returning today after a one-game suspension. He missed the game against Syracuse on Sunday. Going on a little bit more than two minutes without a field goal for NC State, and the drought is over with a three-pointer from Helms. And just like that, it's not going to be an uncommon sight to see him taking more shots because Devin Daniels' absence for the remainder of the year leaves 13 field goal attempts on average to get to the basket. There's another one, right place, right time. That was really a bad decision by Kihei Clark. He kept the ball much too long. Jay Huff was open off that screen, and Kihei Clark just dominated the ball, never saw him. That's what the key has been. Huff gets a look he likes from the top of the key and makes NC State pay. Ties the game at 22. Who got the first start of his young Wolfpack career, just his 13th game in uniform after a redshirt season last year. Murphy contested to the basket with Beverly surfing underneath. They fell Saturday against Virginia Tech. A 15-game conference winning streak came to a close. But when they've lost this year, what has followed has been a stream of success. Virginia has teamed up to go on a 9-0 run and retake the lead. The fadeaway goes for the freshman Cam Hayes. Two minutes into the second half, Virginia with a five-point lead. Clark on the drive, sends it out for Murphy, who hits the three. To find a place where Clark, even in traffic, could deliver the ball to him. Eight scores and scores with a two-handed stuff. There and then Murphy to follow. And then here, Jay Hunt. Murphy missed it. That ball ping-pongs out. Fast break opportunity for NC State. Virginia able to quickly recover defensively and Fort Allen's trip to the basket. Virginia defenders converge. The ball gets knocked loose. And it's Beekman who goes off the window and one to be able to fill in that role. Ellums lowers the shoulder into Hauser, falls back. Pass to the top, tipped and dunked. Shaquille Moore. He is explosively quick, and you don't have to be greedy. Sometimes you just want more. Up from the top of the key, spins, shot fakes, fades. That's pure. Beverly found his way to the basket on a few drives in the first half. Haven't seen that same aggression here in the second. 
Bates goes under the reverse layup off the fingertips and in. I loved hearing Kevin Keats' reaction where he brought that up and said they're not as good. Not as good compared to what? Who wouldn't want to be top ten in the country in points allowed? Thunderbird down the floor, racing to the rim. I think Kihei Clark is, it's, it's like he's not seeing the court as well as he normally does. But I think uh, the Wolfpack and their aggression on defense have had a lot to do with that. And here the Pack cuts the lead to two points. And the last time North Carolina State had a field goal was over two and a half minutes ago. Thunderbird with the steal, steps in front and stops to put the Wolfpack in front. 44-43. DJ Thunderbird takes a breather here. Danny Bates in the front court. And Jericho Hellams, the star of the first half for NC State, had 14 at the break. Hellams lost that one as Clark got into the lane where he's been troublesome this year for opponents. Hauser quickly down the floor and quickly with a flick of the wrist makes it 50-46. Elements lowers the shoulder, backs away. Have not been outscored in the second half. Clark all the way to the basket. The lay-in for Kihei Clark. Off looking for Hauser, smothered on his cut to the edge. Off to the basket, count it, and he goes to the free throw line sure that their offense has come to life, Mike, as much as their defense has really tightened the screws. Off, underneath, passed up the open three for Trey Murphy to stuff it. And it's the point in the game where a nine-point lead to the opposition can look like a 90-point lead against Virginia. Hellams wants three. He's got it. Cavaliers have made 17 of 18 from the free throw line. Bates turns, scores over the left shoulder, keeps it a six-point lead. Not a Picasso of a possession here. Five to shoot. Hayes gives it up for Allen. What a three. Huff pops off the screen and finds Murphy again, cutting baseline for a dunk. Number one in the ACC. Kept it pretty close all game. But they emerge victorious in Raleigh tonight, 64-57.